Black Highlander here, coming right at you with a brand new series! Pokemon Ultra Sun has finally, Ultra Sun and Moon I should say, has finally launched in the US at this time. Uh, soon to be the entire world. And we are ready to jump straight into this brand spanking new adventure. Guys, I, let me tell you something real fast. I was not looking forward to these games initially when they were first announced. Because I thought it was a... It, it was like a, oh, this is a more complete version of the game, and you're gonna get, like, pretty much the exact same thing. I'm like, that sucks. I don't want to play that. But, uh, in the coming, like, weeks, Nintendo has really pulled out the big guns and shown off a lot of cool stuff that I'm very excited about. So I have remained as spoiler-free as I possibly can. Uh, there's gonna be a complete blind playthrough, as they usually are with the brand new games. And I'm just ready to jump straight into this. I hope you guys uh, appreciate and like the, both the intro, this brand spanking new green screen setup, and the layout which was made by my friend, um, Guy on Twitter. Uh, I'll link both the person who made, G Goop made the, uh, the intro. Let's, uh, let's speak a little here. Goop made the intro, Guy made the layout, and I'll link both of their Twitter pages in the description so you guys can go give them kudos. But let's begin! This looks familiar, doesn't it? We were here a year ago! Can you guys believe it's been a year ago since our very first Pokemon Sun or Moon Let's Play? Right? Wasn't that what it? You have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui. Yo, let's go. I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if the music is different or the same. I don't really know. Same voice? Hang on now! Give me just a sec! Yo, same voice, let's go. It's been a while, Kukui. How goes it? Welcome back to, uh... Welcome back! <laughs> Welcome back to the Highlander channel. The Beast Clan missed you. Hey there! Good afternoon! So, the day has finally arrived that you are moving to Alola. Hmm? Map? Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could... Oh! That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokémon, yeah? There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Oh really? Such mystery, mysterious creatures. Yo, you can definitely tell that my reading has not gotten any better since last time. Since, uh, since our last Let's Play. You find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and in the sea. I can't tell if this is Kukui's voice either. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them and we call ourselves Pokemon Trainers. Rockruff, Cutifly. I'll play with you later, so cool your jets! Yo, Cutifly definitely wasn't there in the originals. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody! So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Alright, so this is... This is, uh, strikingly similar to the original games, which is to be expected, of course. Um, of course, I have the blonde here, so we might as well roll with that. This is me. It's who I am. Boys. You guys already know. Uh, I usually name myself Will, because that is uh, my real name, fun fact, letting the world know. Uh, no use in hiding behind it, right? Let's go. Plus, Highlander doesn't usually fit, so. 10-4, good buddy! I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way! Will! What's up, Kukui? What you gotta say to me? Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a drop, drop kicked right to the head! Woo! Yo, this man, this man is actually repeating the exact same thing. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin! Yo, I'm excited. I I am very excited to jump into these games. A couple of months out from the release. Will, come help me with these boxes. They're so heavy. Ugh. Yo, yo, is the scene gonna be the same with Lily? Okay, now I'm curious. What's gonna happen? Okay, it's Lily again. Same, same scene. What's different? Is there gonna be anything different? Fun fact, we were playing Ultra Sun and not Ultra Moon. Cause we're play we played Moon, so now we're playing Ultra Sun. Kinda to... Hey, that's different. Those are the guys from, um... The Ultra, Ultra Space. Wherever they came from. Yo, Nebby going Super Saiyan again? Protecting Lily like they should. Boom. Pokemon Ultra Sun. Boom. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that spicy intro. Let's go. Let's actually go. I feel like the microphone is way too close to me. We will be uh, dilly dallying with that at some point. Three months later. Three months later. <clears throat> so, 
so far, it looks like it, everything's all well and good here in the Alola region. Everything looks pretty much the same, besides the fact that those guys from the, uh, the, the weird other foundation from the Ultra Space. And that's a Meowth this time. Not a uh, Rockruff. Was it a Rockruff last time? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. Oh, let's go! I'm ready! <laughs> ah, this is weird. This feels really weird. Ah, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under a Lola sun. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. So, I think what's interesting, they haven't mentioned Kanto yet, now we came from Kanto, because they did it in the beginning with Kukui last time. Meowth, go get Will for me, will you? Meowth? That is definitely how Meowth sounds. You know, just repeating the... I might as well just copy and paste the, the, the first episode from the last Let's Play over this. Because why not? Yo, it's a Snorlax doll, and it's a Nintendo Switch! I knew it! I had a feeling that the, that was going to be there. Yo, don't look at the Snorlax there. Don't do that. What's that sign thing? Alright, so we're going to be exploring the room a little bit. See if there's any subtle changes. I'm, I'm going to be on the lookout for any and all Easter eggs this entire game. Hollow World Rug? Meowth is upset at me. Alright. Yo, and I have a Pinsir. I have a Pikachu plush and a Pinsir uh, bedspread. Look at that, dude. Can I get up? There we go. Yo, and we in! We back in the Alola region. Let's go. Let's check it out. The autograph you got from a gym leader in Kanto. They wrote, good luck. Okay, so you are from Kanto. It's a game console. You can take... You can even take outside and play. Look at that. A Snorlax cushion. It is said to be so ruinously comfy that you could waste away your whole life lazing about on one. Oh, they know me so well. You checked in the book your father gave you. Your father's still missing. Huh. Look at that. Meow. Stop. I'm trying to get my stuff. It's the new coat rack your mom bought for you. Okay, can I put my stuff on though? No? No? Okay, I gotta go talk to my mom. Me mama. To mama. Alright, let's go. It's weird playing it like in the light, because Moon, I, most of the time I played in the dark. <laughs> you were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already daytime here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we are so far away here in Alola. So Will, are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? I guess. Of course I'm excited! It's the whole reason I bought this game. That's right. I want you to hurry up and meet some, too. We're living in the Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. Literally everyone. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly Pokemon here are. Right, Will? Go and get ready for a bit of exploring. Your bag and hat and things should be hanging on your coat stand in your room. And do didn't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk, too? Yeah, that me papa gave me that you won't tell me about. Did, did, did my dad leave because he was an alcoholic? Nobody knows. She won't tell me. It's a shot in a mystery. Yo, getting her stuff, getting ready to go. The outfit reminds me so much of Black and White 2, TBH. And I, I know you can't really compare these two games because Black and White 2 were sequels. These, this game technically isn't a sequel. Well, it definitely isn't a sequel. You're starting off the same way. All that other stuff. You're, you're technically in another dimension, right? That's what, that's how they're selling this game. But like the outfit with the with the legging things, dude, definitely looks exactly like the black and white two uh, male protagonist. Now you look ready for anything. Thanks, mom. Oh, but even so, well, try be try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit that I'd love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up toward Iki Town and see what you can discover in Alola? Meow. All right. I will do, Mom. Uh, is there anything else here? There's a Whelmer Bell. The ball something Pokemon. Uh, Meow's food. What is in here? Mama in Mommy's room. Probably nothing interesting. And like I did with, um, with Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon in that original Let's Play, I am going to be exploring every nook and cranny in this game. Oh, I thought that was a switch that I could push. Never mind. Um... 
But I'm going to be exploring every nook and cranny in this game to try and find not only Easter eggs, but like, see what's been different. Or see, see, see what is different from the originals. Um, didn't Kukui come get me last time? And I think I missed going over... Mom, get out of the way, Mom! Uh, I think I missed going over here. Is there anything here? Is there, uh, mega stones glittering in the sunlight? That's what I want to know. Alright, so I think... What we're going to be doing for this, uh, whole little series here... I'm going to try to be uploading as constantly as possible. There's a wingle. Let's go. Hey! It's your dad's car! Mom brought it along so she could use it and go out and run errands. Where is dad? Where is dad? Nintendo! You can't just do this. It's your mom's beloved surfboard. She brought it all the way from Kanto with her. Um. Wow, interesting. Uh, anyhow. Uh, what we're going to be doing with this uh, Let's Play is I'm going to be trying to upload as much as I can. Uh, and I don't really have an idea for a schedule just yet. Watch it, cuz. It's dangerous to get too close to a Pokemon while it's using one of its moves. My bad. I'll just be uh, heading out then. Um. So, just be expecting maybe two episodes a day. Can't promise that. Um. Like I said, until I know for sure, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know what that schedule is in the future. But I'm going to be pumping out the series as much as I can. You can go with me if you dash with B. What do you think of my song? It's pretty low tier. Uh, I think you should add some more remixes and feature Pitbull and it'll be better. Um, here we go. Let's talk to this man up here. Hello. The power of science is amazing. You're a science guy. You can enjoy a festival with people from around the world without taking a single step. Every day is a festival when you can do that. Yo, this man, it, this man just elates pos uh, positivity. Can I encounter things here? Yo, I'm about to be attacked! This man! I've, I've got to put up my dukes. I have to put up my dukes. Yo, this is like diamond and pearl and platinum. This young Donald Trump's trying to get up in my business. Get out of here! Boot him away! Boot him! End him! And there are the starter pokes. Wow, they come in and save me. How nice. That uh, technically means, though, that... um. Soft resetting in this game will probably be a lot easier than it would be in the original Sun and Moon. Yeah, are you spooked away? Spooked? Oh, he's second spooked. He's out of here! Get out of here! You're, you're weak. You disgust me. Get out of here, young goose. Freaking young goose. Nobody likes you. Get up in here. <laughs> what am I doing? Alright, so I assume this is where we pick our starter Pokemon. Hey, it's Professor Kukui. Hey, their cousin! Yo, hey, their cousin. Hang on, I know you. You will, right? You okay? I saw you get attacked like that. <laughs> yeah, I was scared spitless. Yeah, I got a bit of help. I didn't need it though. I could have booted that young goose literally into a field goal and it would have been amazing. Looks like you did. Though I sure didn't expect that, yeah. I didn't think these little fellows would dash out on their own to help save a stranger. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon paradise. And that's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kukui, yeah? The Pokemon Professor. People and Pokemon live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget. You can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got your Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass. Yeah, <laughs> just waiting to leap out and bite you. But you'll be fine as long as you got a partner of your own. What is this voice? Hey there, here, let me introduce the Pokemon that helped you just now. I don't know what this, this voice I'm trying to do here. It's, uh, it's lost. It's gone. This is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet! <laughs> yup. Rowlet. You got Litten. And you got uh, Poopleo. Popleo. So, as you guys may very well know, I am very indecisive on the starters. You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Woo! <gasps> <Ha>, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Alright, so, as I was saying, why don't you go ahead and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin? Alright, so as I was saying, let's uh, repeat that again. Um, you guys know how I feel about the Alolan starters. I feel like they're meh. Not the, not the greatest. Um, and you guys are probably going to hate me for this, but I am going to be picking Litten again. Uh, because what, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Litten. Litten. 
And then evolving it to Torcat, and then just not evolve it into an Incineroar, because I really don't like Incineroar's design. Uh, so that is how I'm going to be playing through this game. Uh, if you hate me for it, well, leave an angry comment. Let me know. I will, uh, I'll, I'll respond, and hopefully, and, uh, yeah. So you can, you can deal with that. This is what I'm doing! This is my, this is my let's play. <laughs> Layton may use fire-type moves, but it's one cool cat. So you want to go with the fire-type Pokemon, Litten? Yes. That is what I'm going with. Yo, watch this be a shiny. I would literally flip. I would stop this let's play. It's a Catten! So what do I name this thing? I can't name it Rex, too. I could. It's such a good name. Yo, I'm gonna do it. I'm definitely gonna do it. You guys are gonna hate me. <laughs> I don't even care, though. Yo, can we start looking into this uh, this cat's eyes, please? I'm getting very uncomfortable. You chose Litten. Very good. Can we give it a nickname now? Alright, so it's definitely not shiny. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a nickname. I'm going to be going with Rex. Uh, because I think it's a fantastic name for a kitten. Because, well, not for necessarily for a kitten, but for a Litten. Because uh, it's the name of my brother's cat. And I, that cat is hilarious and it makes me laugh. So, Rex has been added to your party. Let's go. Let's go. So you went with Litten. Woo, what a fine looking team you two are. Now that you have a Pokemon, now that you can have Pokemon battles, you, you, you're what we call a Pokemon Terrena. It's a Pokeball for Litten too. It should feel nice and cozy there. Thanks, man. I like how you like hovered it in the air so I could pick it up. Very nice. All right, then let's get going up to Iki Town or Iki Town. Will, woo! Time to meet the Island Kahuna. The Island Kahuna, man, this feels very repetitive. Truth is, the partner Litten of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. But be careful getting into a battle with one. This is wearing on my voice. I remember doing this voice. <coughs> oh, jeez. Iki Town is right up here. Through the grass. All right. I'm actually super excited to see what I can catch here. Because I want to use an Ampharos so bad. So bad, and when 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 Marip was confirmed to be able to be found in this game, I like I was like, yeah, so get lit in there that Pokeball I give you. But what if I want Litten to walk with me? No, okay. I guess that's a feature for another time. Rip. All right, so let's go ahead and check out Litten then. Ooh, look at that new uh, look at that new redone um, bottom screen. I actually really like that. Let's change it to fast uh, party box. Manual, yes. Button mode. Switch style. So everything seems to be the same as uh, previous. There doesn't seem to be any new options. Let's go ahead and check out Litten here. Summary. So Litten has Blaze, uh, Scratch, Ember, and Growl, as to be expected. What's your ability? Sassy. This man is sassy. All right. Sounds good. Um, so what I'm going to be trying to do is aim these episodes to be roughly 20 to 25 minutes long. So we do have a little bit of time. I think I'm going to... You can't do this to me, Nintendo. This music! Yo! Look at that bottom screen. Okay. Okay. I'm digging this. This music is so good! I can't do this right now. Nintendo, please. Please. I heard some remixed Kanto music in this game, too. And with that, I just can't. I can't. I can't be doing this right now. You guys you guys should know one thing about me. I am a sucker for fantastic video game music. And that battle music. This battle music is so much better than the original. From Sun and Moon. Wow. So I think what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, just kind of walking around, exploring Route 1, and we'll get to Iki Town next episode, Episode 2, because, uh, as you guys may know, these uh, these games are kind of story-heavy, slash, uh, very much tutorial-heavy. So, it's going to be a lot of dialogue. If you happen to pick up a po potion anywhere, you're going to be Pokemon when it's low on HP, and it'll be feeling better before you know it. Well, thank you. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Dude, I can't get over this. It's so good. It is so good. Wow. Go Rex. End this Caterpie. Do it right now. Zero regrets. Alright. Liking the HP bars too. HP bars are looking, looking fuego. Um, so, another thing guys. For this, please do keep spoilers out of the comment section. 
for at least a little bit of time. Um, well, maybe I should just, I don't know, ignore <laughs> the comments for a while. Uh, just because I don't want to be spoiled anything. I've been trying really hard to avoid spoilers for now. Oh, did I go too far? Yo, it's our favorite Maosada loving man. How? Hey, hey, which Pokemon are you going to choose as your partner? Have you decided? Well, I don't know how to break this to you, How, but uh, I already got one. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm How. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. It's going to be heartbroken. Meow. Whoa, your lit is so cool. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Well, sorry about that, How. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Will choose his. Uh, partner first without you. Wow, what a nerd. Fair enough. I guess it was just fate that you guys met. But you can choose one of these two, how? Wow, that that was weird. Let's not let's not speak that way again. Bork? <laughs> Bork. Then my partner will be Rallet. I choose you. Of course you do, you nerd. <laughs> Alola, friend! I've decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. Oh yeah, well what if I picked Rallet? I bet you were gonna say the exact same thing about Poplio. You're such a flake. We're gonna do just as, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do so much awesome stuff together. We'll just you wait and see. Sounds good, my man. But looks like, uh, man, I wanted to get a couple more encounters in before we end the episode. Prof uh, Professor, you'll take good care of Poplio, right? You better believe I will, how? Yo, I better, I believe. All right then, Poplio, everybody, time to get back into your balls for now. Wait up, me and Rowlet have a fever to ask. Be, a po be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together. Yo, so we get to hear the, ba the trainer battle music too? I'm down. Hold on, before you two step into the ring, let's make sure Litten is up to it. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> wow, now I sound like a terrible person. Rip me. You, can get, you guys can edit that out in post, right? All right, I'm seriously gonna enjoy this. Are you though? Sounds pretty much the same so far. Yeah, it sounds the same. Well, that's disappointing. That is disappointing, but that's okay. So, how is gonna challenge us with his Rowlet? Unfortunately for him, I have Ember. So I'm gonna burn him into a little little bucket of fried chicken, uh, fried owl if you prefer. Makes you smarter. Who made the Who made the fried chicken? Who? I was trying to make an owl joke, and I was failing extremely extremely hard at it. Uh, so rip that, rip that, uh, rip that joke. Anyway, we <laughs> we beat this battle. Rex is gonna hit level six. Uh, this man almost hitting level seven. Let's go. Our first defeat. Sorry, Rowlet. Well, maybe get good, kid. Gosh, to deal with all these slackers all over the all over the, all over the place. Whoa, that was awesome, Will. You and Lynn were both so cool. You gotta have that kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know. You know? Right on, Will. You and Howe both brought out the best in your partners and pull up some spectacular moves. Yeah! Icky Town is right up those stairs. Come on, Will. You should totally check out Icky, Icky Town. All right, we will. But I want to get a couple more random encounters to snag this item, and then we will uh, go ahead and wrap up this episode. Yo, this music is so good. So hype. <laughs> Benaries. All right. I need to figure out what I want to use on my team. I honestly don't know. And this will probably take us up to level 6 or 7. Anyhow. So that'll be good. Good for us. Splash. I didn't know uh, Benary learned sp uh, Splash. So, one thing though is that as I'm playing through this, I'm looking through all these grassy areas. And I'm trying to see what can I shiny hunt. I am so excited to start shiny hunting in this game. It's insane. Um... And so what I'm going to be doing, I think, on my Ultra Moon copy is do a shiny lock. Just kind of like a personal one. Not necessarily one that I'm recording or anything. Because I think it would be entertaining. Uh, just for me. And I've never done a shiny lock be uh, before. So we'll see how that goes. Wild Baneri up here. Alright. I think we're just going to go ahead and run from this one. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Oh, it hovers now. It doesn't have that little, uh, little arrow marker. That's okay. That is okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. Not today's episode, necessarily. But we're going to wrap up episode number one of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Guys, if you're excited for this series, um, necessarily, not necessarily just for the series, but, like, for the game itself. 
I hope you let me know. Let me know what you guys are excited for most because I'm I'm excited to like challenge Team Rocket and stuff. It's gonna be so good. Um, but I gotta hop in and record this next episode right away. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, make sure you leave a like down below. And without further ado, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and catch you in the next one. Peace.